Welcome to today's Willpower Moment. I'm Dr. James Machino. Our topic today is wellness numbers are a great motivational tool. You know, from having worked with many patients over the years, I can tell you that knowing the details of your blood work, your blood pressure, your waist circumference, and body weight can really light a fire within you to improve adherence to desirable nutrition and lifestyle practices. You know, many people are actually afraid to weigh themselves or take a tape measure and measure their waist circumference. Here's another secret that's not so secret, that many people don't have annual checkups from the doctor out of fear or because they would rather bury their head in the sand so they don't have to confront and deal with high levels of blood glucose or cholesterol or blood pressure and so on. But I will tell you that it's very liberating to go through the process of an annual medical exam. The truth is that once you have the tangible numbers in front of you, you can't help but want to set some wellness goals based on your results. So once you know your results, setting these goals becomes much more meaningful and your chances of succeeding are greatly enhanced because now you have something really tangible to shoot for. And the really good news is that you have the power to reduce your excess body fat. You have the power to reduce high cholesterol, high blood sugar, high tri triglycerides in many cases as well as high blood pressure. I've even helped men lower a rising PSA blood level, which is a key test for prostate health. Now, better dietary exercise and lifestyle patterns can absolutely change your blood work, your blood pressure, your body fat measurements to such an extent that it's something that it's hard to believe that you're looking at the blood results of the same person from one year to the next. That's how much of a change is possible. So knowing your blood values of key tests your blood pressure, your body weight and waist circumference are not something to fear or be paralyzed by. Rather, they are incredible tools of motivation. So I say that because I'm about to explain what the ideal levels are for each key test you should have done. So these are the ideal values for longevity, meaning the absolute most ideal level to shoot for that's linked to you having the longest possible life the lowest risk of disease development and the greatest chance of maintaining a highly functional body and mind for the longest period of time. So I have a feeling that this is something you'd like to achieve. So watching your numbers move in the right direction over time is very motivating and gratifying. And as you improve your diet and exercise compliance, these numbers also improve in concert with your efforts. That's the beauty of all of this. It's very empowering to watch, believe me. So these are the values to shoot for. Now the key is to know where you stand right now. And if you're not in the ideal range for any of the tests, it'll motivate you to get more on track with nutrition and lifestyle strategies that will help to get you there. Now in some cases there are genetic factors that may prevent you from achieving the absolute ideal range. In these cases you may need some medication to help you get there, but you'll be shocked to see the magnitude of change that you can accomplish on your own through improved nutrition and lifestyle practices. So don't rely on medication alone. Okay, here is a scaled down version of the key test I'd like you to track uh, along with the ideal values. So I'll show you what the ideal values are for each of these tests. Now these blood tests are done after you've fasted for 12 hours. So normally you, you fast overnight from 9 o'clock at night till say 9 in the morning, then you have the blood work done. So these are fasting blood results. So the first one is your total cholesterol. The ideal range is under 3.9 millimoles per liter or under 150 milligrams per deciliter. The second test is the LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. The ideal is under 1.8 millimoles per liter or under 72 milligrams per deciliter. The HDL, which is the good cholesterol, you want it to be high. So a good cholesterol reading of HDL for men is over 1.17 millimoles per liter or 45 milligrams per deciliter and women above 1.42 millimoles per liter or above 55 milligrams per deciliter. Then there's the total cholesterol to LDL ratio. It should be three to one or lower. And your fasting blood glucose or blood sugar should be under 4.7 millimoles per liter. That's the ideal or under 85 milligrams per deciliter your hemoglobin A1C, how much are you sugarcoating the proteins in your bloodstream? That percentage ideally is under 5% or even more ideally under 4.5%. And then your, your triglyceride levels should be under 1.5 millimoles per liter or under, one, under 132 milligrams per deciliter. These would be the American units. So 
standard blood work that a doctor does includes all of these. So if you get a copy of the report, you're going to, all of these things are going to jump off the page at you. Now in terms of your waist circumference and your blood pressure, your waist circumference for men should be under 36 inches and for women under 33 inches. And the most ideal blood pressure is under 120 over 70. And so that could creep up to as high as 130 over 80, but you want to be under 130 over 80 uh, at the very least. And for men over the age of 40, they should have a, a PSA test, a prostate specific antigen blood test. The most ideal reading is under one nanograms per milliliter. So men who get to be age 60, who still have a PSA level under one nanogram per milliliter have almost a zero chance of ever developing prostate cancer. So throughout your lifetime you want that PSA to be under one. Of course your doctor will order a more complete set of tests during your appointment but these are the ones I really want you to record and track from one assessment to the next. These are the ones that are really key indicators of your healthy life expectancy and the impact of your wellness behaviors and how your body is is uh, ad adopting to that or adapting to it. So these values improve as your nutrition and lifestyle practices improve. That's the beauty. So monitoring these values will really help to keep you accountable and making better in the moment decisions from day to day. I guarantee it. Once you know your numbers, you will make better decisions. And if your blood sugar is high, then I would recommend you also purchase a, a glucometer and at least once a week do a reading at home first thing in the morning, at least once a week to track your glucose in the glucose tracker on the wellness platform. Now my blood glucose is in the absolute normal range, but still every couple of weeks I use a glucometer first thing in the morning, just do a little lancet to put it on the strip just to make sure that I'm not cheating too much, that I'm not eating too many starchy carbs or too many refined sugars, or making sure I get my exercise in to keep my blood sugar in the ideal range because I want it there. So I try to hold myself accountable. If your blood pressure is high, then get a home blood pressure device and measure and track your blood pressure at least once per week as well, just to see how your, how your diet and possibly medications are working to keep it in the ideal range. And if you're overweight, then get yourself a reliable scale and stand on it once a week to see how you're doing. Believe me, this is how it gets done. Knowing your values is not something that should frighten you. Knowing your values can be life-saving. I will tell you, it will really light a fire around you to get you going or to uh, get you to move up to a higher level on the wellness success ladder. So if you have a value that's not ideal, then you simply set a goal to work towards achieving an ideal value by the time you have your next set of blood tests done. You know, having something tangible to shoot for can really light a fire around you and enhance your ability to focus on tracking your wellness compliance and taking it to a whole new level. So get your test done, your test done and ask your doctor for a copy of the report. Record your values in the health risk assessment and check to see where you are on track or off track. Then get busy to improve any results that are not in the ideal range. Now I will tell you, nutrition, exercise and lifestyle modifications will very much help you achieve these goals and get you there. It's very empowering to watch it all happen. So I've included a copy of the tests and ideal ranges in the text below as a quick reference for you. I've included both the Canadian and U.S. values of the tests. So in Canada, uh, they t in Canadian uh, uh, labs use what are called SI units, or often where they report in millimoles per liter, whereas in the U.S. tests are usually shown in milligrams per deciliter. So I've shown both the Canadian and the American units. Okay. Know your numbers. It's very inspiring. It'll take your wellness compliance and willpower to a whole new level. I guarantee it. So until we meet again, I'll encourage you to eat smart, live well, look great. And if you haven't seen your doctor in more than one year, then make an appointment and get your blood work done and your physical exam completed. Okay. Have fun. I'll see you next time.